Big Dem arrested at headquarters attempting to off Trump supporters through any means possible. British novelist and philosopher Aldous Huxley said the propagandist's purpose is to make one set of people forget that certain other sets of people are human. It seems that is the current goal of the leftist progressive factions with cries of racism and Nazi is the dehumanization of those deemed their political and ideological foes. It is a means to make harassment and violence against conservative, Christian, right-leaning, Republican, Trump-supporting factions look normal along with inciting a mob-like mentality against any group which they perceive as having a different ideological thought process. Freethought will not be tolerated. Currently, just seven days into the month of July there have already been 13 instances of violence, harassment, refusal of service, etc. against those publicly showing support for Republican and conservative ideologies, or even libertarian ones, showing support for President Trump, the hashtag walkaway campaign, etc. Breitbart reports a running total of 190 acts of leftist and media sanctioned violence and harassment against Trump supporters since January 5, 2016, just prior to President Trump's inauguration. And here we go again. Yet another emotionally unhinged radical leftist has heeded the call from the mainstream media and Representative Maxine Waters CAD to attack Trump officials and supporters. This time it is a radical progressive Democrat, known as Martin Astroff. The 72-year-old was arrested by Suffolk County Police in Long Island, New York for making terroristic threats against GOP candidate Congressman Lee Zeldin, President Trump, and their supporters. Astroff, police said, went to the campaign headquarters of Congressman Zeldin and became irate with a campaign worker at approximately 11.15 a.m. After threatening to kill the campaign worker and other supporters of the GOP representative, Astroff backed his car up in an aggressive manner nearly striking the worker. Astroff fled the scene and was arrested shortly after in front of his Nisconset home. According to the Star-Telegram police say an angry Long Island man nearly backed over a campaign worker moments after saying he wanted to kill supporters of President Donald Trump and U.S. Rep. Lee Zeldin, both Republicans. Martin Astroff was charged Friday with making a terroristic threat and reckless endangerment. The 75-year-old was jailed pending a Saturday arraignment. Information on his lawyer wasn't immediately available. A message on his home phone wasn't immediately returned. Suffolk County Police say Astroff confronted campaign worker Donato Panico at Zeldin's campaign headquarters. They say he aggressively backed up his car and nearly struck Panico before speeding off. Zeldin has represented parts of Long Island since 2015. He says he's received threats since Trump's election. He tweeted on Saturday that Trump's son, Donald Jr., had reached out to make sure Panico was okay. The New York Post reported of the incident he was expected to be arraigned Saturday on a felony charge of making a terroristic threat, and on second-degree reckless endangerment charges. Zeldin, a fervent Trump backer, decried the attack on Friday night. In the U.S., political scores are settled at the ballot box, not by trying to kill your political opponents, he tweeted. Donato Panico is a great American, a supporter of at real Donald Trump and one of my campaign vols. He shouldn't have been targeted like this today for his passion and involvement. On Monday, Senator Rand Paul R. Kentucky said that he and his family had received threats from a person who said they would be chopped up in an axe attack. A suspect was later arrested. Both incidents come at a time of heightened political tension since Representative Maxine Waters D. Califf, goaded followers to push back on Trump administration members when they appear in public. Tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, she said on June 23. The man's irate behavior was just the latest in a long line of attacks against Trump administration officials and his supporters. It seems generations of dumbing down, of being indoctrinated, of being told what to think, rather than taught how to think have taken its toll on the American populace. Many cannot convey a linear thought process coherently, let alone make logical conclusions. Rather than a discussion of different ideas, agreeing to disagree, people respond with emotional tirades and violence. 